Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Zor One Experience step-by-step -step installation guide uh, for getting started with Zor One. This is the 2021 version. We are at October the 20th, 2020. So we're going to walk through step-by-step -step how to set up Zor One, how to start your free trial. You do not need a credit card. You get a 30-day free trial, uh, and this is going to be how to get everything up and running uh, for your business using Zo One. If you don't know what Zo One is, it's 40 integrated apps. Zo I'll call it the operating system for your business. It is 40 integrated productivity apps that all work together to make your business run smoother. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. Okay? Right, let's go ahead and sign up. If you come to z1trial.com, that is my affiliate page for sign up where you can sign up for zo.com or zo.eu that automatically tags me as your partner as your official zo partner and that gets you access to the z1 experience which is a full private um, forum for just z1 users for zo1 users uh, that have tagged me or have signed up for the patreon so if you come to z1trial.com we and then scroll down. Firstly, obviously, learn about Zo One and everything about it. This is a complete 30-day free trial, no credit card or anything like that. You're gonna be able to dive straight in, which we're gonna do next. Right, let's get started. So Z1Trial.com. If you come here, start your free trial on Zo.com or Zo.eu. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the trial on Zo.com. As I click, there will be a form. I've asked Zo to make this a little bit prettier, but they haven't yet. Right, so let me just clear, because I've obviously done this a few times. So, portal name. I would make this uh, perhaps what your handle is for Instagram or your uh, Twitter handle, something like that. It's just a unique name for your portal. It is used in various places to give you URL short links. So, uh, take your time to pick it. I'll use... What should I use? Which I'll do Happy Me Security, right? Oh, should I do... Um, the Zo One experience. Let's do the Zo One experience. So Z One EXP. Oh, it has to be at least six characters. Um, let's do Happy Me Security. Look, let me do this as a full, uh, as if you're a security company. Security. I'm gonna do. Um, put an email address in. Do not worry that that you are. If you're expecting to change your email address uh, once you get started, that is fine. We we're gonna. Um, we're going to sign up with a domain name and add uh, email addresses and things like that. But for this, just put your email address in. So I will put in uh, Paul at paulnicholson.com. Is that the right thing to do? Let me put Happy Me Security. Happy Me Security at paulnicholson.com. I'm going to add a password. Add a phone number. That is obviously not my phone number for anybody wanting to phone me. Agree to terms. I would like to receive marketing communications from Zoho. It's up to you if you click that or not. And then sign up. And it will configure your account. You'll see in the URL at the top here is your little portal name. Happy Me Security. Email verification pending. The email has just come through. So hope payments is your customer. Oh, someone's just tagged me as a customer. Welcome to Zoho. Confirm your account. Verify your email address. Access your account. Right, so it obviously gives us a page full of different apps, different setups, uh, and things like that, and all that information on all these different places that you can sign up uh, and access. Kind of a quick link place at Zoho.com. You're going to start by going to access your apps, or you can go back to that original page. It's going to take to the same page. Place look, and we're going to follow through the the applications. Right. So obviously, when you come to your main admin at the, or your main, this is your profile page. Um, Zia Search and Analytics is not going to be a lot in there when uh, there's nothing in there yet. So the first thing you're really going to do is go to the admin panel. And it's going to offer us, uh, 
it's going to offer to try and make a life a little bit easier by installing a certain amount of apps depending on what your company is about. So ZO1 has been designed for gradual adaptation, adoption. So selecting a category of apps to start will give you an opportunity to get the hang of things. Don't worry, you can always add more apps later at no additional cost. So whether you add any or not, it, everything is um, everything's included with your ZO1, right? So you're not going to get any indirect fees or any um, anything added on later but if you're basically a sales company you can add the sales apps and it'll add crm uh, i'm not sure exactly what it'll add but you can add stuff later if you're into marketing it'll do some of the newsletter stuff and probably social media uh, email and collaboration it'll do a click and things like that so for most of us and the safest thing for a lot of people will just click sales uh, unless you're definitely in these other areas uh, i would just start with sales and click continue uh, give your sales team the perfect set of apps to help close more business deals. So which ones will you be using? Analytics, bookings, CRM, sales IQ. So these are just really um, options for you to use. You don't have to sign in for any of these or not at this point. Um, I would think that you would uh, you would be using CRM maybe bookings for appointments and maybe uh, sales IQ, but everything's going to show up, right? Uh, work remotely is needed for us. So this is if you want to work remotely. Again, it's not very obvious, is it? Working remotely is need for a uh, need of the hour. So automatically enable these apps. So we're going to switch on um, communication apps uh, and other, you know, uh, conf uh, other apps where you can work across the uh, with other people. Collaboration, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Welcome aboard, Zor. Well, is there everything you need to grow your business? We are setting up your account. It wasn't obvious that, was it? There was a bit like, we're going to set this up. We're going to set that up. Welcome to Zoho One. Right, so let's go through the wizard as it wants us to do it. Zoho One's a comprehensive... Equipped with powerful AI and BI, Zoho One gives you here's your applications on the side. Get a high level operation of applications. You just added. You can here's the users. So we're going to go through adding users in a bit. Uh, groups your employees into collaboration groups, departments. So if you've got HR, you've got sales, things like that, you can group them all together so that you can quickly assign stuff to certain groups. Uh, security makes security priority, set security standard that fits your organization. This is password policies and things like that. Reports, track adoption, track zone one adoption and discover ways to make your organization, organization more productive. Uh, quick actions up the top. Quick actions make it easier for you to perform certain tasks without having to visit various tabs in Zoho one and user resets, etc. Uh, quickly manage and access your apps using the one launcher the launcher makes opening and switching between apps much easier so this is your user home rather than the admin at the moment all these things here are admin but then it's saying go to your user and jump about so that's really the tour done so when we have a bit of a browse around we can see a dashboard obviously there's not a lot of information there we can see applications that have loaded it's preloaded for us here in this homepage security, we can add customer information and company information, which we will do in a moment. Uh, here's the applications that are already installed and how many users and groups they are. And obviously at the top, if there's any apps missing, we can just add those groups. Nothing's really set up in those ads apps. So if we click on any of these, it's going to go through individual setup guides for all these apps, right? So it's not like anything set up other than it's just tagged to this account. Any other users, any admins, groups, domains we're going to set up as well. Probably in a separate tutorial because it can take a little bit of time to um, get the domains set up. It's a bit funky. Security settings, password policy, multi-factor authentication. That's kind of things like um, you want you want the... Uh, you know, like when you log into Amazon, you get a dual authentication where you get a code to your phone 
just helps people makes you makes your account a lot more secure certain allowed ips there is an app there's a zoe marketplace for all different third-party apps and all stuff like that your active zoe one sync tool for secure directory password synchronization i don't know exactly what that is and your reports right Right, we're going to leave it there for this video. We're going to go on to part two, uh, where we will do the domain settings, so then we can set up emails and things like that.